It's an absolute honor to be talking to my next guest, the one and only Amy Grant. But you know, Amy is not here to talk about her great and inspirational music. She's here to talk about something nearer and dearer to her heart, her actual heart. Take a look. Amy Grant, the six-time Grammy award-winning singer with a heart of gold. She was so busy taking care of others that she neglected herself. But a chance encounter with her husband, country singer Vince Gill's cardiologist, actually saved her life. The doctor discovering an undetected genetic heart condition. After successfully undergoing open heart surgery in June, this American treasure is now feeling better and sharing her story, hoping it will strike a chord with others. Hey, Amy, it is so great to see you. First of all, you look fantastic. How are you feeling? I feel fantastic. You know, Amy, this is like almost a story you wouldn't believe it because it seems so crazy that could happen, but your husband has a cardiology appointment. You're in the office. Mm -hmm. He's there for his checkup. You're just accompanying him. And the doctor says to you, hey, you should get checked. Uh, what happens after that? When the doctor said, hey, why don't we check you out? I was like, are you talking to me? <laughs> <laughs> and I went, okay, you know, um, my dad had bypass surgery when he was in his 50s, and he was like, you're great, you're great, you're great. And then the next day he called and said, call me as soon as you get this text. Wow. And, and like, so he discovers that you had a heart condition. It's called partial anomalous pulmonary venous return, PAPVR, and it's where one or two of your pulmonary veins returns the blood to the right atrium instead of the left. And the issue is that the blood coming to your right atrium has now has oxygen, which is not the normal case. So now you have oxygen rich blood flowing back to the lungs instead of to the rest of your body. Did you have any right. indication that anything was wrong? I mean, were you feeling fine? Anything? I just felt the way I had always felt. And so, you know, when he said, we're going to need to do this surgery, and we normally do it on two- and three-year-olds, and um, it's discovered in cadavers of 60-year-olds, 60-something. Mm. 60 I was like, well, I, <laughs> let's not do that. That's right. That's right. <laughs> um, but you know what's really beautiful is, I, I mean, I was going, I'm asymptomatic, I'm totally fine, but I actually felt very different after the surgery. And so um, I don't know if that would be true of anybody else, but um, I've always had a real kind of knock around heartbeat. It wasn't a dangerous heartbeat. It was just like, make me feel like I was high or I'd had a couple of glasses of wine. I don't know. It just felt like, well, that was weird. And it kept increasingly getting more um, persistent. Mm -hmm. I always thought, well, that's just the heartbeat of a flower child. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah. And then um, I know, and then a couple of times I would and I only said it like twice, but I, I remember telling a few people after like multiple concerts in a row, I said, I just, it's the weirdest thing. Sometimes I feel like I'm suffocating, but I mean, never, ever, ever did I think something was wrong. And so to me, the greatest thing is, you know, I'm 59 and a lot, of course, most of my friends are around my age, but I've had so many of them, especially ones that were super active. They have called me or texted me or emailed saying, okay, I made an appointment with my cardiologist. See, and I mean, what have you got to lose? Yeah. I love that someone like yourself with such a platform is willing to share with others because sometimes it takes someone like you. Doctors can say it all night long. You know, you should do this. You do that. But when someone like yourself, when you actually have this experience and you actually vocalize it, um, you're, you're saving lives. Now you're there for Vince. Did he turn out okay, or what was his situation? Vince is 63, and his dad died of a heart attack. There were some underlying circumstances at 65. And so, mm. you know, he would find himself going up a set of stairs going, I don't, is something wrong? You know, maybe a little shortness of breath. And the doctor just said, hey, you need to exercise more and have a healthier diet. But, I mean, all the pipes were clear. He was great. 